There's a new group running ads in Florida specifically, they're dreamdefenders.org. They're trying to get African Americans to vote. They've got 10 different branches, mainly in uh, college campuses. They recently did an Indiegogo campaign, raised some money, $22,000 to run these ads. These ads are a little controversial. It's about violence that happens to African Americans and how you can change it by voting. But, but take a look at that. Randy. Did you study? Yes. You study? Yes, Mom. You know, baby, um, I'm gonna need you to wear that vest today. Mom, are you serious? I'm not gonna wear that vest. I need to know when I'm at work that you're gonna be safe. Do it for me. All right, Mom, I'll do it for you. teenager shot dead on a Saturday afternoon. The FBI has questioned a man who says he recorded the audio of gunshots at the time Michael Brown was shot by Ferguson police. Here in Oakland, Oscar Grant's death represents the very worst of gun violence and racism. His case may be over, but the problem is not. Today's Oscar Grant has a new name, Trayvon Martin. So of course Trayvon Martin shooting happened in Florida. They're running these ads in Florida. It's another progressive group running really aggressive campaigns. It seems like it's a little bit of a shift. Yeah. I mean, we haven't seen anything aggressive from Democrats in over a decade, and all of a sudden, you've got a number of hard-hitting ads here. And this is another one. They're calling it "Vest or Vote." Right. And if you didn't see it, one of the sentences in there in the ad was striking: "Every 28 hours, an African American is killed by a police officer." Security guard or vigilante, Jesus. right? So what they're saying is, well, if you don't like that state of affairs, the best way to change it is by participating in the process and voting. So don't let it get so bad that you're going to put bulletproof vests on your kids. Go out there and vote and make a difference. Yeah, I, I think it's a strong ad. Um, I like the aggressive nature of it. It gave me goosebumps as I was watching it. But as someone who's, you know, obviously very critical of all ads, regardless of political affiliation, I mean, is going out there and voting really going to make a big difference when it comes to that particular situation? Well, like in Ferguson, it would have made a big difference. So it depends on the situation. So in Ferguson, you have a predominantly African American community, significantly so, represented by almost all white uh, government, mm -hmm. and that's partly because the voting uh, in Ferguson was really. Uh, poor percentages, right? Like it was very low percentage voting and vo voter turnout, so it made a big difference if uh, more African Americans turned out and they had better representation because they don't like what the police department is doing, they don't like what their government is doing. So then you could have changed that government in, in the case of Ferguson. Yeah, you, right. actually, as you were answering it, I was answering in my own uh, in my own head as well. I mean, you have laws like stand your ground. I mean, if you vote for the right representatives that aren't in favor of that type of law, then you know, you're doing something that's going to help the situation. So in the entire state of Florida, it's of course harder to sway than it is in the specific case of Ferguson, but it's worth the effort. Mm -hmm. And now, I think another criticism of the ad would be, my guess is the right wing would say that's fear mongering, right? There's definitely a fear mongering. Yeah, they, there was, they're appealing to fear there, there's no question about that. Uh, the flip side is, I mean, the bulletproof vest is over the top, of right? Course. Like, we get it, we're not blind, we see what's happening there. But they're saying, hey, listen, I'm worried about this issue. If I got black kids, I'm worried they're going to get shot like Trayvon Martin was, like Michael Brown was, like whoever it was, right? And I aim to do something about it. And if you don't like that, sad day for you. And what am I doing about it? I'm voting. The most yeah. American thing you can do. Yeah, and look, you need that kind of imagery to drive the home, the the point home, and I think that they did a good job with that. It gave me goosebumps. So that was a that was a good ad.